Oh yes, as promised, Suzuki GSXR K5 2007 Rides. Let's get the bike out. Wait, there's something missing, isn't there? Safety gear. Oh, with the magic of television. <laughs> now that's better. Protected, just gloves, and you're gonna be sitting right here. And you'll be riding right up here with me. So, here we are. Let's pull the clutch in for a second. Welcome to my ride out. Now this exhaust, as you can hear, is a little bit noisy. Listen to that again, shall we? Oh, she just handles beautifully. <clears throat> the rev range of these is up to 14,000 revs before it goes in the red. Believe you me, that's going some. But does she sound beautiful? third gear it's got a lot of torque this bike and yet you can still be in quite a high gear and accelerate away I'll demonstrate here let's get the first let's give way always look to your left hand side nothing coming here we go if I told I really slowly second third 28 mile an hour fourth fifth there we go look at that I'm in sixth gear doing 30 miles an hour and you can still pull away. But then you want to give it more, and you want to give it more, and a bit more. The handling as well is absolutely lovely on this bike. The bypass here, well, we'll be in a minute. Can you just hear that rev range on this bike? Look to my right hand side, and just changing the gears, lovely. This bike is for back roads, twisty bends, short, lovely little journeys. You're going to smile all the way. Roundabout, look to the right. Am I in second or third? It don't matter, because this bike will still pull away. And about third gear now, right over. Let's kiss the van about a little bit, there we go. Leg out, you've got to put your leg out. Well, I say leg out, knee out. Come on, let's have it. No, let's not have it. <laughs> always use your back brake, always turn down the gears. And there we go. We get to see this lovely GSXR purring here. You can't knock these bikes, just look at it. And that, that is a lovely raced fit exhaust, all the way from the end to the headers. This is the K5, as I said, should be a K7 on 2007. And the exhaust, I've done a video of the K7 a bit at the end here. The exhaust underneath, nice grunty sound to it. But this, well, just a beautiful looking bike really. You can't knock these. And they sound the nuts. Come on, what's not to love about this bike? Well, that's half a ridey's. Let's finish it off, shall we? Right. You know what's coming now, didn't you? Traffic. <laughs> you don't need to floor these bikes, but it is fun to do so. I see flashy lights. Four straight line. I mean, yeah, you can do a top speed on these. I personally get much more enjoyment out of going around nice bends at a sensible, safe speed. Well, that I take to be a sensible, safe speed. Indicate to my right. He's indicating to his left. Oh, I've got the right away now. 
and this is where these bikes come into their own. Look at this baby go. Woo! Oh, you just gotta love it. I know there's traffic in front of me, but you cannot help but enjoy that acceleration, the sound of the end can. You know, if it wasn't making that beautiful sound, it'd be as much fun, I don't know. I love it. I absolutely love that sound. Would I buy a bike that sounds like this? Well, I did. Let's just get a little bit of a slow down. Keep the front down. I wonder why they never thought of having dual zones. I mean, 20 more an hour when the kids are wandering around because they're aimlessly daft and they think they're on the road. But how about now? You know, it's late evening, any kids around? No. So why is it not, instead of 30 miles an hour, why do they not have dual zones? Well, that would be a sense, wouldn't it? 20 during school hours and 40 out of school hours. I mean, come on, what's wrong with that? Well, it does 70 mile an hour nowadays. I mean, look at the Autobahn, no accidents. Oh, daft M25 loads. So many dumbass drivers on there. Everybody who rides a bike should get in a car. And everybody, I hate this road, everybody that drives a car should get on a motorbike. I think you'd have an appreciation of when you're in that little box of yours and you think, ah, I'll pull out anyway, just how scary it can be when you're carrying a little bit too much speed and the bugger pulls out in front of you. You know, he don't care, does he? First thing he says, oh, he was going too fast, I didn't see him. All the usual, no, sorry, he's dead. As you can see, wasn't brilliant, was it? I uh, had the camera too low, so I couldn't see anything on the road. So another failure, bugger. So, except for the wardrobe malfunction, what was that like, eh? Um, okay, do you want to speed on these bikes? Yeah, you want to play. I'm not saying you need to do a million miles an hour, but you do like to play on these bikes. That's what they're there for, really. Um, they're fun. I'm still working out on this little microphone. You notice I've lost the little top end. That blew off somewhere. <laughs> so I hope you can still hear me. Anyway, there we go. Beautiful K5. You see what it's like on the road. I really begin to think this vlogging lark isn't for me. Why? Last night I took it out. Camera was facing the floor. I just took it out just now. Had a nice little ride. Got halfway home. Beep, 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 beep. This thing goes. Card error. I'm thinking, oh God, <laughs> you know, vlogging is okay. My, my last vlog, I can't do it. It took three attempts to do this. I'd take it all apart, take the battery out, take this D card out. There's fuck all wrong with it. It just doesn't like me doing it. So, no more vlogs for now. He's still in these bloody planes. Bloody things. Honestly, it's like Heathrow. I'll say thank you for watching. Please stay with me. Like, share, subscribe. I'll keep making them. And I'll still keep the bloody planes going. Cheers.